A proposed plan could offer some Fifth Ward residents some relief. They say stalled trains have become a major nuisance and sparked safety concerns. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker live in East Houston with more on the city's proposal. Brandon. Yeah, Keith, both Fifth Ward and the East End where we are tonight right here. In fact, we saw two stalled trains within a two hour window. Federal officials here in the city of Houston today touring communities with city leaders who are trying to stop a proposed merger of two air, uh, two rail lines, I should say, which they say would worsen the problem. Screech marks the start of a wait all too familiar on the East End. There are a number of train stoppages. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner Wednesday at Ruskin North. Where when the train is stalled, drivers sometimes have to wait upwards of an hour. People are so frustrated, not just that the people that live here can't get to work, can't get to school. 706 current time right now. We're tracking just how long of a wait this train has been on the tracks right now. 27 minutes. It's two trains here. One is stopped. Back in April, we shared this cell phone video of dismissal time at McReynolds Middle School and a meeting with residents, Union Pacific Railroad and local leaders on what to do because train tracks vein their way through the East End and Fifth Ward. People going to, to work, I sit there and I'm going like, oh my God. Back at Mac and Navigation, we've got movement, but it's taken an hour. Year to date, we have over 900 uh, cases where EMS vehicles could not get through because of stalled trains. District I City Councilor Robert Gallegos testified last month in Washington, D.C. before the Federal Surface Transportation Board, sharing concerns over a railroad merger he says would lead to even more trains stalled on Houston's tracks. You're looking at the possibility of 9 to 14 more trains in the Houston area, which we do not need. That proposed merger is between Canadian Pacific Railway and Kansas City Southern. There is a public comment period for people who have opposition to this to voice their concerns. It ends, though, on Friday. Local leaders hoping folks will take advantage of it. We're live tonight in the East End. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.